Well, good morning, everybody. It's a great pleasure and a great honor, actually, to be here. Thank you very much for uh, IT Cluster, which we are the member of, uh, that uh, they have invited us as well to speak here. Uh, we are a little bit different company than a typical IT Cluster companies. Uh, typically, IT Cluster is uh, uniting companies who are creating something pretty new from the scratch and doing some kind of development works and uh, for any kind of IT startups actually it's a very good uh, place to be because uh, the whole imaginarium is actually going on there. But we also started there and uh, we decided to work in a cyber security sphere in the industry actually which affects uh, every industry. And this is probably one of the most complex things but uh, anyway uh, we do some things as well with uh, uh, healthcare organization, but uh, healthcare is not the only one because uh, cybersecurity affects everybody. So shortly about uh, uh, our company, uh, we have been doing a lot of interesting things regarding IT security awareness raising uh, all across the uh, actually Europe and, and even the, the, the planet because we have been participating in so many different uh, uh, conferences and seminars and we have been organizing a lot of different uh, uh, um, seminaries and uh, knowledge transfer uh, workshops uh, and most, prob most probably I can e easily say that uh, nobody in, uh, in the Baltics has done at least a half of that. So we have been participating in uh, seminaries and conferences in the United States, in Belgium, Germany, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Hungary, uh, Czech Republic and um, UK and, and many, many other com company, uh, countries. Um, but our main direction is that we, we are um, IT security consultants and the system integrators. So we are actually helping different organizations to find the weakest links and, uh, and, uh, and solve the risks regarding uh, the security of the data, security of systems, uh, availability, confidentiality and uh, integrity of the data and the information systems. So, um, like I said, uh, we are a little bit uh, different from the typical IT cluster company. We haven't uh, created yet uh, something uh, by our own, but we are always uh, giving some additional uh, uh, knowledge and uh, add-on uh, to the, let's say, globally well-known and uh, global leadership of the of the IT security and cyber security uh, solutions and technologies. So we are working with many, many of them. And we have done uh, first of, uh, of the projects in the Baltic States. And uh, yes, in, in, in so mainly at the moment uh, we are active in, in Pan Baltic. We have many, many customers here from the public, from the financial, from the government sectors. And uh, we are actually S securing a lot of uh, very important and critical data of uh, Latvian, Lithuanian, and Estonian uh, governments and, and uh, most important and critical infrastructure institutions. And uh, one of uh, our main success stories is that we have created uh, one very uh, serious event which happens uh, every year uh, here in Riga where we are inviting a lot of different professors and a lot of different uh, security researchers from the old, old planet. And uh, last year we had like uh, six parallel sessions and uh, 58 different presentations from the global leaders. And uh, this is one of the biggest event actually in the Baltic States and uh, even in the Baltic Sea region. So this is a free of charge event, so you can actually... Uh, you're welcome to, to, to join this event on 22nd of the October. Uh, it, it will take place in the uh, Latvian National uh, Library, uh, all the big conferencing uh, uh, house. Uh, so, uh, a few words about uh, this presentation. So, um, first of all, we need to understand where we are living. And we need to understand the digital world of today. And actually, uh, since this is the e-health uh, 
event, we need to somehow link it uh, uh, to the health industry and the digital world of health industry. Uh, then I will try to uh, show some uh, examples of the cyber crime uh, regarding the health industry. Of course, it's uh, uh, it's much easier to simply uh, use the Google and, uh, and try to uh, just simply add in like cyber crime and health, and you will have like uh, I don't know hundreds and hundreds of different pages regarding the uh, accidents which have been like uh, happening uh, even even this year about the data breaches, about the compromised systems, about the reputational harm, and about the other things. And uh, then I will try to share some my personal opinion about uh, why, the, why, why any kind of industry is losing fight against the cyber crime. And uh, this presentation is uh, more or less divided in two acts. Um, the second act will be in, uh, after some hours, when I will uh, give some uh, I don't know, hints or, or, or advices about the 10 most important uh, uh, cybersecurity controls uh, each organization should consider to have. So, uh, but, the, but the first part will be just the uh, introduction part about the world we are living in. So I will not uh, uh, try to uh, create something from scratch uh, to invent the bicycle for once, once again. So there is a company uh, called Gartner, which is the most, uh, let's say, visible and most known uh, company who is uh, all the time uh, following the technology trends. And uh, they have uh, created something like uh, 10 most, uh, trend, uh, most important uh, trends for the technology uh, development for the future. So uh, each of these trends actually can be linked to the uh, health organization. If we are talking about computing everywhere, it's, it's, it's the mobility, it's the uh, it's a borderless enterprise, so that everybody is uh, able to access anything from uh, any kind of device. Uh, when we are talking about the Internet of Things, uh, we are talking about uh, uh, centralization of, uh, of the access and the control of uh, every and each uh, technology what we have, like uh, even like a uh, refrigerator at home or, or this, uh, let's say, the, the car, uh, uh, car system, uh, everything could be controlled by the single mobile phone actually, so the uh, one small uh, mobile device is uh, getting control about everything and you can uh, remotely control the, I don't know, weather control system in your home uh, uh, like tens and thousands of kilometers away from, from, from the way you are actually at the moment. 3D printing and uh, different other things regarding the uh, digital pro prototyping are actually also uh, affecting the health industry at the moment. Uh, we are printing like uh, uh, dentistry uh, instruments, and we are printing, and, and there have been, like, let's say, many uh, uh, examples how the 3D printer was was helping to uh, create the new arms, new new hands, new. Uh, new legs actually for the people who, who have lost something like that so the, the medical uh, together with the digital prototyping and 3D uh, technologies are actually uh, going very much forward with that and as well we are talking we can talk about the intelligence everywhere and uh, one of the most intelligent thing and actually I can I can even like uh, move forwards uh, to, to, to link it to maybe maybe even more uh, there is there is a uh, artificial intelligence example, one very serious example, which is called IBM uh, Watson. I don't know if uh, if you have been at, at the IBM stand here, you please go there and, and see, because IBM uh, currently is uh, changing a lot of things. Uh, this, this Watson is uh, able to receive all the big data about the, any kind of uh, therapies and surgeries and all the patient data and about the, all the laboratory uh, ther therapy ex uh, results and etc. And when it combines everything, uh, it can give you uh, exact uh, treatment plan, and actually it can uh, uh, substitute the real doctors. So this is already like in a, I would say like in a in a beta phase in uh, some uh, United States uh, hospitals, and uh, th this this is this this is the future actually. Uh, of course, we can we, we have uh, seen a lot of uh, M health, including the drones uh, who are delivering the, the medicine actually. For instance, that uh, the, the, the person is uh, 
feeling bad and it gives uh, some kind of notification to the mobile phone and mobile phone uh, connects to the central of the, of the um, hospital, the private or public and uh, immediately you can uh, locate this, this, this customer and uh, send the drone uh, to, to, to deliver the exact, uh, let's say, medicine. So this is actually you know, what, what's, uh, what's happening. Of course, we can talk as well regarding health systems, the geographic information systems where uh, when something bad happens, uh, the location uh, together with the information about the traffic and the traffic jams and uh, some other things uh, could be uh, given for the ambulance services uh, so they can actually easily track uh, the, the patient and, and, and find the easiest uh, and the shortest way to, to, to save the life. And uh, of course, we are talking about a lot of, lot of uh, different uh, technological changes which are at the moment happening regarding the uh, cloud and, and mobility and uh, different kind of applications and telemedicine. Uh, and everything actually is, is, is more and more getting uh, digital and, uh, and it's getting more and more uh, serious and important because uh, whole the whole ecosystem of the, of the uh, the health industry is uh, interconnected between each other and uh, every organization is using more and more digital products and, uh, and uh, all their businesses are more and more uh, related and dependent on a dig digital technology, on the devices, on applications, on business uh, uh, systems and uh, on the databases where the patient data is being stored and etc. So, uh, the health industry actually is the one of the biggest and most, uh, let's say, uh, uh, important in, in a whole planet because uh, even in, in the United States, uh, health industry is uh, uh, using more, let's say, from the United States GDP than even like uh, 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 military are doing. So actually, this is something very, very big. And uh, what is also very important that uh, each of these organizations, like uh, different kind of hospitals and different kind of uh, uh, medical uh, treatment organizations, or even like health clubs or or, or government uh, um, institutions or or, or pharmacies and, and drug uh, creators and producers, everybody is uh, interconnected. So, in case there something bad is happening with the data at one of these organizations, then everybody is uh, feeling. Uh, the results of it. So it, it could be like created like a domino process. So this is also a very big important uh, corporate uh, responsibility between the organizations. And uh, why this is very important? It's very important because the cyber uh, criminals are getting more and more active to the regarding uh, health uh, organizations. Uh, their first uh, mm, targets were actually financial organizations. So uh, at the moment, financial organizations more or less have been, like to say, through, and the first wave is, is maybe gone, but there will be a second and third and, and some, some other waves because technology is developing fast, faster than the cyber uh, security and all the contradic uh, contradictions uh, again, against, uh, let's say, risks. But uh, uh, hackers are uh, attacking at the moment health organizations, and even if, uh, uh, if your... Uh, uh, country is maybe not yet developed at the level of, uh, let's say, uh, no best developed countries like, I don't know, let's say United States or maybe United Kingdom or something like that. Uh, that, that doesn't mean that you are not affected. That doesn't mean that uh, hackers are not already like planning some activities or maybe not doing already some things. Um, two very important things uh, uh, what could be uh, said. First is that uh, uh, it takes uh, a lot of time actually until uh, such incidents are being uh, discovered. So you can see that I marked with, with, with red uh, this uh, hacker steal date of uh, 1.3 1, 1 million. Uh, it took uh, uh, about the year to discover that something like that uh, at least uh, at all happened. And the second thing is that uh, if you are looking at the life of the, uh, of the stolen health, health, healthcare record the example, so I uh, especially uh, selected uh, this picture uh, to simply indicate that uh, when, when the breach is happening, then uh, this person actually is one of the, let's say Brian Krebs is one of the, let's say, uh, most seen uh, cybersecurity bloggers. 
and he, he has done some kind of ex experiment. So, so he pretended that uh, this is a real data. So he, so he helped this real data to actually uh, to, to leak out. And then he was tracing where this data is going. So and this, this data was actually, in a very short period of time, was, uh, was traveling uh, to 22 different countries, actually. Um, to five of the seven continents of the world and actually people were buying and trying to use it and, and to, to access this data to, to later uh, do some harm to the, to the local uh, 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 industries uh, where this data was actually leaked from. So if we are talking about the economics of the cybercrime uh, at the health industry because uh, there are different industries and different, uh, let's say, worth of the data so electronic health record uh, uh, is worth around uh, 20, 20 times more than the financial uh, data because uh, uh, healthcare record uh, could be used for twice or even five times a longer period than a financial fraud data and it's very hard to detect. Uh, but of course, uh, when you are adding uh, and the, the professional hackers are actually doing full profiling of the, of the uh, victims. So they are adding a lot of in, uh, interesting data, not only financial data, but all the location data and all the, let's say, industry-related data. So uh, when, when there is a targeted attack against uh, any kind of uh, person, they, they are actually uh, collecting uh, any kind of available data. And uh, then such rec records can be even like 500 uh, uh, USD dollar per record or even like more. But it depends. And uh, this uh, thing actually is uh, giving a lot of power to the, to the black internet and the black market because there are a lot of, uh, let's say, um, the, the total value of the black market or the underground uh, internet is uh, more than uh, all the drugs or, or narcotics market together with uh, uh, any kind of criminal activities market and, uh, and even like, uh, let's say, uh, adult entertainment market uh, together. So it means like uh, this, the cyber security black market is actually uh, eating the, the lot of uh, no world uh, uh, wealth and uh, possible development. Um, which is also very important and uh, uh, this data which could be stolen from any of the this uh, health uh, um, organization's ecosystem could be used uh, in up to uh, eight or even like more uh, types of the uh, of the of the criminal organizations because somebody is uh, simply like uh, uh, doing the uh, uh, targeted attacks and doing block blackmail so you can actually uh, imagine what what could happen with your personal data if uh, if you are uh, let's say terribly ill but uh, you don't want most obviously that the, the society is, is you know, having this information that you are ill, but, but there are cyber criminals who are simply uh, going to you and, and saying that uh, if you are not paying, then we, are, we will disclose this information. So the career is gone and the life is gone and everything is gone. This is only the one thing. Uh, some, some people uh, or some uh, cyber criminals are actually uh, creating fake accounts in uh, in, uh, in a bank systems. Some are using, uh, let's say, health insurance, uh, uh, let's say, fraudulent uh, in a fraudulent way, and uh, some are simply collecting the data from the medical uh, or, let's say, those uh, medical uh, drug drugs producers uh, databases. And uh, when they have the, their customer database, they are uh, uh, approaching them with uh, maybe just simple uh, advice that uh, here, here are the, let's say, uh, cheaper medicine, or maybe they are simply sending the, some targeted uh, uh, traps uh, or the phishing messages or some, some other things uh, because they know that the person is wealthy enough uh, so, so they can actually uh, do some kind of activities. So there is a, there, there is a lot of, uh, let's say, economics and cybercrime in health, and uh, cyber, cyber criminals understand that, uh, and they, they, uh, they are already very active, and uh, at the moment, uh, all the world is actually suffering from that, and most probably uh, th those countries who are not yet affected will be affected very, very soon, especially because uh, there are a lot of different uh, digital developments are going on, and you can see here in this uh, e-health, uh, um, exhibition uh, 
that, that, that there are so many different kind of let's say applications and and solutions that uh, uh, will, will definitely help the, the, the health organization but will definitely open the doors for the cyber criminals and uh, will will get uh, good and bad things at the same time so um, if you are talking about the countermeasures of course there are a lot of different countermeasures uh, against uh, the cyber crime uh, first is a uh, uh, HIPAA Act, uh, which was created in 1996, uh, which is actually the identifying uh, uh, most important controls of the of the say, theoretical controls uh, and, and, and and giving some some hints uh, what kind of technological controls should be taken in uh, consideration as, as very important uh, if we uh, care about the patient data and uh, and uh, all the uh, security of the of the of the systems and etc. And uh, it, of course, identifies uh, and helps you to identify the security process, identify in inventories and roles and responsibilities and who is actually uh, involved in the, in, the, in the whole process. And uh, it sets uh, some requirements reg regarding the, the training and uh, IT security awareness raising in the, inside the employees or the contractors or the, or the patients and, and some kind of uh, gives, gives some hints for a lot of different things, including access and identities and stuff like that. Um, and of course, there are a lot of other uh, uh, ISO, uh, let's say, a lot of other regulations and, uh, and standards, uh, uh, regulation standards all across the industry, including uh, ISO quality standard, and including some kind of uh, local and uh, international uh, uh, standards. But uh, the problem is that that the, those. Uh, security incidents uh, happen anyway and uh, actually they don't care about the, the no those cyber security specialists they don't care about those uh, regulations etc so there are two myths first is uh, that uh, uh, perimeter defense of the each organization is, is uh, going to help you and will protect your applications and the second uh, uh, myth, myth actually is that the the traditional or the old, old security is performing very well. So in case that uh, uh, you have this uh, you know, virus and, uh, uh, and and firewall and uh, intrusion prevention or intrusion detect systems, then you are actually in, in a security, which is uh, absolutely uh, not not like that because uh, uh, many organizations with all those uh, technology in place uh, have been uh, attacked and uh, successful attacked. So. Um, at the moment, actually, the, today's cybercrime is affecting uh, every uh, one person in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in three persons who are using Internet. So there are something about three billion people who are actually the Internet users. But last year's uh, insane uh, results uh, show that actually regarding all the uh, some summary of all the incidents and etc., uh, regarding different kind of targeted professional attacks and very sophisticated and, and cyber wars and hacktivists and data leaks and, and cyber espionage and a lot of other examples and etc. in the in whole total world um, uh, has been uh, around uh, one, one billion. So uh, every, every each, of, each of three person who is using internet actually uh, affected. Yes, and uh, summary. Uh, cybercrime is uh, is a real deal. Um, everyone is affected, uh, or will be affected. So everybody who is uh, having, let's say, online business or using any kind of uh, digital products from any country and for any use is affected. Traditional securities are not uh, efficient anymore. Um, Frameworks are not efficient anymore because they are always one step behind the crime and technology development. And uh, there's al always a big problem between, uh, uh, for any kind of business, uh, to have very good professionals who are uh, linking the business and IT together in the most efficient way. Because uh, business people typically don't uh, drive that much deeply in the, in the in technology field, especially security fields, and they don't know all the potential risks that might might occur. And uh, security, sometimes IT people sometimes are not that deep in, in a business. So, uh, 
uh, the lack of consultants actually in, 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 a, in, a, in a, on, on a planet is, is very very uh, big, and uh, this is an indicator for for the for the future, which is also being uh, uh, detected in many uh, big organizations and big big countries. They are lacking actually those professionals. So um, there will be second part. Well, I will be uh, giving some kind of uh, hints about. Uh, in our opinion, uh, security controls, which uh, should be uh, taken in, in consideration for any organization. But of course, you can uh, contact uh, uh, our uh, company and uh, and uh, seek for. So, for many organizations, we are the security advisor. For many, we are simply consultants uh, who substitute the, their current IT stuff when something is when there is such a need. And something like that. So, so this is the. the so it's, it's not maybe the, the very easy to, to get into 20 minutes actually, and then towards the bigger uh, uh, industry and uh, such an important question as a cyber crime. Maybe you have some. So in case. Uh, Hope to see uh, you all in some hours. Thank you very much.